Hi, and thank you for joining me. If you're watching this, you probably already know all about that word fragrance and how on labels, it doesn't have to be legally disclosed uh, what exactly the chemicals are in um, the word fragrance when it occurs in a product. So some of those uh, chemicals are potentially quite harmful. They can be endocrine disruptors and carcinogens. Um, when you think about a lifetime of widespread use, because fragrance isn't just in personal care products, um, things like perfume and moisturizers, they are, fragrances are used all over um, the world in many different industries. So um, candles, uh, cleaning products, soaps, uh, all kinds of things have fragrance in them. So minimizing your exposure to fragrance when you can definitely makes sense when you are looking for optimal health and well-being. Uh, essential oils, on the other hand, have incredibly um, beautiful and beneficial um, benefits. Uh, they are physically uh, good for you, mentally and emotionally healthy, and they are also great for the environment when you're replacing a product with fragrance um, with a product that is made with all natural ingredients and essential oils, you are not um, making the world a more toxic place, you're making it a cleaner place. And not only that, you can reuse your containers uh, so there's less waste and you're not buying more things which come in all kinds of packaging. So it really is uh, a situation where what's healthiest for you is healthiest uh, for the whole world and our earth. So let's get started with making a body oil with essential oils and um, a base oil. You will need a four ounce glass jar, preferably a dark glass jar. And if you don't have a four ounce jar, um, just use what you have. My dog doesn't like people walking outside. Um, and if it isn't dark, then uh, just you'll have to be more cautious about keeping it out of sunlight, light and heat, sorry. Um, I will be sure to give you proportions per ounce. So whatever uh, ounce jar you do end up using it, it'll be fine um, but start with something relatively small you know nothing more than eight ounces because these are all natural products so they have a shorter shelf life than something with a bunch of um, uh, shelf extenders in them uh, so a base oil um, you'll want something like sweet almond oil or uh, sunflower oil or grapeseed oil um, even soy oil would work because um, all those are neutral scents and then if you have olive oil avocado oil um, or something with the, that has a bit of a stronger scent you can absolutely add those into your base oil to make uh, a more complex uh, body oil with um, more benefits um, but you don't want them to be the the only thing that you're using just because they have a very strong scent. So I'm going to go get my stuff and I will see you there. So let's get started with making your very own uh, body oil. So you get to pick your own scent, which is another great benefit of making your own products. It's very personal. Um, you can focus on the physical uh, reasons for using essential oil, uh, such as if you have a skin problem or something and you want to address it through essential oils that uh, address that particular skin problem. Um, it, you can choose it for the emotion, emotional and mental uh, benefits of that particular essential oil. If you want to have a really happy scent, for example, you might want to choose some citruses or if you need something more relaxing, you might want to go for lavender. Um, or you can just focus purely on the scent. Like if you want to smell like um, vanilla and roses, then you can add vanilla and rose essential oil to your product and whatever the benefits of those two combined, 
you'll still get those even if that wasn't your intent. So um, you're going to want a four ounce glass bottle. If you don't have a four ounce bottle, just use whatever you have. Just make sure it's clean and dry. And um, I will tell you the, propor the proportions you need per ounce. So don't worry about it. And if it's not dark, you're just going to have to be more careful about uh, heat and light. Okay, so I'm going to gather up my base oil and my essential oils, and you should too. So today I'm going to be making an anti-anxiety oil. Um, this is my four ounce jar. I'm going to use a blend of almond oil and sunflower oil and a little bit of grapeseed oil. The essential oils I'm using are neroli, clary sage, lavender, and sandalwood. Um, I, I get my oils different places. People often ask me this. Um, this is this little sandalwood is from Mountain Rose Herbs. I order a lot of my products from them. Um, this lavender is a Whole Foods product. And these two are oracacia, which you can find in, in health food stores all over. Okay, so I also have my funnel and I have a dropper because I'm going to need it for uh, one or both of these actually. So if I need it for both of these, I'm going to have to use another dropper because you don't want to contaminate one oil with the other, of course. So uh, body oils are a great way to just kind of subtly and personally perfume yourself. Um, it's a great time to think about actually the um, emotional and mental things that go along with the essential oil uh, blend that you choose. And um, in the mornings, after showers, after baths, in the evenings, uh, whenever you get a chance to just, you know, put it all over your body. And you can use this instead of a moisturizer. You can use it in terms of just scenting yourself. And it's something that's been done since the time of the ancient Egyptians. So making this oil is going to be really easy. You don't need to use um, a variety of face oils like I am. I just don't want to use up all of any of this, so I'm going to use a blend. Um, so here's my funnel and my sweet almond oil. And I'm going to do a little less than half. So what professionals do is they blend their essential oils in a separate glass container and they let it sit for a couple weeks and they sniff it and see if they want to add anything or um, not. And then they'll let it sit for a couple more weeks and um, sniff again and do um, adding at that time. And if they do add, then they'll have to wait again to see how that uh, comes out. So you're welcome to do that. But um, today, if you wanna have your essential oil right away, you can also just add your essential oils into your base oil. You want five drops of essential oil per teaspoon. And there are six teaspoons um, per ounce. So six times five is 30. So um, 30 drops of essential oil per ounce is the recommended, um, and, and that's like the maximum, the recommended maximum. You can definitely do less. Um, and if you're using really strong smelling essential oils like um, jasmine or, or rose or um, some of the woods, like cedar wood, you will want to use less. Um, so for four ounces, I'm going to need approximately 120 drops. So we're going to do approximately 30 drops each of the clary sage, lavender, and neroli. And that's going to take us to 90 drops. And like I said, I'm not going to put in a whole 30 of the sandalwood. 
Um, I'm going to just add a little bit, kind of shake it up and see if that works. Um, probably about five drops and then go up from there. All right, so I'm still just gonna keep my funnel there even though I don't really need it. Just, just in case I spill. You know, I smell the sandalwood even though I put in only five drops compared to 30 drops of the other ones. It smells really good. I might actually go back and add um, at least five drops of the other ones because the sandalwood's so strong. Um, so now, I'll do that on my own time. Um, now you want to be sure to write down your finished product so you can recreate it. And also label your product. Be 